South Africa, located at the southern tip of the African continent, is known for its diverse and rich natural landscape. From stunning coastlines to vast grasslands and majestic mountains, the country is not only famous for its multi-ethnic culture, but also a top destination for wildlife lovers. Are you ready to join us? If so, leave a zero in the comment section below. One of South Africa's most iconic animals is the Cape Buffalo. They are social animals, typically living in herds of 10 to 30 individuals, led by an adult male. Cape Buffalo are resilient, adaptable to a variety of living conditions, and can travel long distances in search of water and food. However, the increasing population of Cape Buffalo is leading to huge consumption of food and water, putting pressure on the ecosystems in which they live. When their numbers are too high, they can deplete grass resources, leading to fierce competition with other animals. This can cause an imbalance in the ecosystem, leading to a decrease in biodiversity. Due to the rapid increase in population, wild buffalo have begun to appear more frequently in areas near roads, causing damage to infrastructure and traffic. Their movements not only reduce the safety of vehicles, but also cause serious accidents. In search of food and shelter, they can invade human settlements, creating conflicts between humans and wild animals. Therefore, hunting with guns has become an effective method to reduce the damage caused by wild buffalo. By controlling the population, not only does it limit conflicts between wild buffalo and humans, but it also protects the local ecosystem. Hunting can help maintain ecological balance, prevent wild buffalo from entering residential areas, and reduce the risk of traffic accidents. Do you agree with this method? If yes, like the video and if no, leave a number one in the comments. However, hunting must be done in a safe manner to protect both the hunter and the environment. Safety regulations must be strictly followed, including the use of proper equipment and maintaining a safe distance from others. Participants must also be trained in shooting techniques and be aware of the terrain, weather, and other factors that may affect the hunt. When spotting a buffalo, the first step is to keep a safe distance so as not to frighten them. Carefully observe the surrounding situation before making a decision. After locating the buffalo, choose the best shooting angle, prioritizing sensitive areas such as the heart or lungs to ensure an accurate and humane shot. When everything is perfect, shoot quickly and decisively, ensuring that the shot does not cause lasting pain to the buffalo. After the hunt, the first thing to do is to check and ensure that the buffalo has been humanely killed. Next, you need to carry out the processing and harvesting process, if allowed, to minimize waste. 
Equally important, clean up the surrounding area to protect the environment and report the results of the hunt to the authorities to monitor the wildlife population in the area. Finally, review the experiences from the hunt to improve your techniques and strategies for the next hunt. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please like, comment and subscribe to the channel to continue watching the next videos. Zebras, a member of the horse family, are native to Africa and have been around for millions of years. Their history dates back to about 4 million years ago, when zebra ancestors appeared. They have developed distinctive features such as black and white stripes, which help camouflage them and reduce predation. Find out more and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest updates. Zebras live in herds, exhibit strong social bonds, and often protect each other from danger. They are active, intelligent, and have the ability to communicate well through sounds and gestures. Zebras are not only a symbol of the wild, but also represent the power and beauty of nature. By 2024, the rapid increase in zebra numbers has led to their intrusion into urban areas, causing many problems for people. As zebra herds search for food and habitat, they often enter cities, causing traffic accidents. Their presence not only disrupts people's daily lives, but also poses challenges to traffic protection and safety. However, zebras are not only a nuisance in urban areas, but also cause serious damage to agriculture. They often invade fields, eat crops, and compete with livestock for food. This damage results in huge financial losses for farmers, reduces yields, and affects their livelihoods. Controlling the zebra population is urgent to protect agriculture and ensure the safety of rural communities. One effective solution to reduce the damage that zebras cause to agriculture and urban environments is to place them in zoos or animal sanctuaries. This not only helps manage zebra populations in a controlled environment, but also provides the public with an opportunity to learn about the species and celebrate its conservation value. Zoos can provide suitable habitats that allow zebras to thrive and reduce their potential to invade human settlements. Furthermore, educating the public about the ecological importance of zebras can help raise awareness and encourage consensus for their conservation. However, hunting is also a way to quickly reduce the damage caused by zebras. The government has allowed hunters to hunt to control their population. This policy not only helps limit the intrusion into urban and agricultural areas, but also creates a sustainable approach to protecting the environment and people's livelihoods. By managing the zebra population responsibly, hunters can contribute to maintaining the balance between humans and nature. Do you agree with this hunting method? If yes, like the video, and if no, leave a 2 in the comments.
When a zebra is spotted, the hunter will immediately stop and observe to assess the situation. They need to keep a safe distance, avoiding scaring the zebras and causing them to run away. After determining the location and number, the hunter will find a convenient hiding place to approach. Before taking action, they will carefully check their equipment, ensuring that the gun and necessary tools are in good working order. Once ready, the hunter will plan a precise shot, aiming at the zebra's weak points to ensure an effective and humane shot. After hunting zebras, hunters need to take several important steps to maintain the balance between zebra populations and human safety. First, they should report their hunts to wildlife management agencies, which can monitor population health and ensure that hunting activities are conducted within safe limits. In addition, hunters should participate in conservation programs and educate the public about the importance of protecting zebra habitat. This helps raise awareness about the need to maintain healthy zebra populations while minimizing human-animal conflict. Ultimately, restoring and protecting zebra habitats will contribute to the safety and sustainability of both the species and humans. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please like, comment and subscribe to the channel to continue watching the next videos. The African porcupine is a small animal in the family Aranakidae. It has a round body covered with thousands of sharp spines for defense. African porcupines usually live in arid environments, such as grasslands and open forests, and are mainly active at night. They are fast-moving and have a keen sense of smell, which helps them find food such as insects, invertebrates, and even fruits. Let's find out and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to receive the latest updates. African hedgehogs are becoming increasingly popular as pets due to their gentle nature and cute appearance. However, they need to be properly cared for to ensure their health and happiness. Owners should carefully research their diet, including suitable foods such as insects, fruits, and specialized foods. At the same time, it is important to provide a safe and comfortable living space with a clean and adequately sized cage. Daily interaction time will help the hedgehog become more accustomed to humans, reduce stress, and improve sociality. Regular health checks and vaccinations are also important to prevent disease. In short, the African hedgehog can be a wonderful pet if cared for properly and attentively. However, while popular as pets, 
African hedgehogs can also be harmful in certain situations. They can become an invasive species if allowed to roam freely or be kept in uncontrolled environments, affecting local ecosystems. Hedgehogs can eat native plants, reducing biodiversity. Furthermore, if not properly cared for, they can carry diseases that can be transmitted to other animals and even humans. In addition, hedgehogs' defensive nature can cause them to injure unfamiliar people, especially children. Therefore, the management and breeding of African hedgehogs must be done carefully to minimize these negative impacts. Because African porcupines pose a threat to ecosystems and agriculture, the government has decided to allow hunting to control their numbers. This decision is aimed at minimizing the negative impact of this pest, protecting native plants, and supporting farmers in protecting their crops. Strict regulations are in place to ensure that hunting is safe and sustainable, while also encouraging people to participate in wildlife conservation and management programs. Do you agree with this method of hunting? If yes, like the video, and if no, leave a 3 in the comments. When hunters spot an African porcupine, there are several important steps they need to take to ensure a safe and effective hunt. First, the hunter needs to keep a safe distance so as not to frighten the porcupine, which may react by curling up or running away. Once ready, the hunter needs to aim for areas that are easy to reach, without causing unnecessary harm to the animal. The shot needs to be accurate and quick to minimize the porcupine's suffering. Go ahead. You shot him. Ooh. After hunting an African porcupine, hunters need to take several important steps. First, they should check the condition of the porcupine to ensure that the hunt was carried out humanely. Furthermore, hunters should report the hunt to their local wildlife management agency. This helps monitor the porcupine population and ensure that hunting activities are conducted in a regulated manner, thereby protecting the natural ecosystem. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel to continue watching the next videos.